In this guitar lesson, I'm going to show you all three of my favorite one measure long little fill riffs that you can use to spice up your rhythm guitar. And uh, these are fill riffs that I like to use when I'm in the key of G. And we've got uh, three different riffs. We've got one they're going to play over the G chord, and then another fill riff that I like to play over the C chord, and then a third riff that I like to play over the D chord. So we've got all three of the main chords um, in the key of G, you know, the one, four, five chords, G, C, D. Uh, we've got a riff for each of those chords. So basically we're just going to be replacing our strumming with a one measure long fill riff. So instead of doing strumming, we're going to do a little, a little riff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's check out the first riff. This is a one measure long fill riff over the G chord. And to set yourself up to play this riff, uh, here's what I do. First, I press down two fingers just to set myself up. I press down my pointer finger on the second string, first fret right there. So that's the pointer finger, second string, first fret. And then pinky, I put on the first string, third fret. Right there. So that's the pinky. So we just got the pointer and the pinky pressed down. And then if we look at the tablature from here, uh, you can see that we do a little pull off. And the pull off is done with our middle finger. And it's on that second string. So you see, press our middle finger on the second string, second fret, pick there, and then pull off to the pointer finger on that first fret. But when we do that pull off, we're actually going to strum both strings at the same time, those two skinnier strings. So that's the pull off, nice and slow. It's real small on the tablature, so it might be hard to see, but that's what's going on right at the beginning of this lick, this riff. Once you get it down slowly like that, you just got to play this pull off super fast. Just like that. And the rest of the riff after that pull off, it's most of it's done with our ring finger, you know. Ring finger on that. Third fret, third string, pull off, pick, 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 pull off, pick, 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 hammer, pick, and that hammer is with the ring finger as well. Hammer, pick. So that's the first fill riff that we're going to use today. I just throw that into my rhythm guitar every now and then. Every now and then. And the rhythm that I'm playing right here: pick down, pick up down, pick down, pick up down, pick down, pick up down. I'm just playing the G chord, you know. No picks are alternating across different strings. Pick down, pick up down, pick down, pick up down. So um, let's count out our rhythm in eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And 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 so instead of playing rhythm for one of those one and two and three and four ends, one of those one measure right there, let's play this fill riff. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and riff. Dun, 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 dun. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four And you can really use 
this little one measure long fill riff to replace basically any measure of G chord. If you're in the key of G and you've got just a basic um, progression in the key of G, you're playing some country and bluegrass rhythm. So let's look at this chord progression right here on the screen. And uh, we're going to look at this chord progression throughout this lesson. We'll use it to get some practice with these fill riffs. So if we look at that very first line um, of this chord progression, you see we've got four measures of G major chord. So if we're doing the little pick, down, pick, up, down, up, strumming for all four of those measures, it'll be like this. One and two and three. Now let's try, you know, let's try playing that little fill riff in the second measure. So instead of doing pick, down, pick, up, down, up in that second measure, we'll do one and two and three and four and. So let's try it. G. Except uh, this time, let's try using the fill riff in the third measure. See what it sounds like. G. 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 C. And then we'll go to the second line of this progression and um, we'll look at a little riff over the C chord. So, um, what we just looked at there, that was. Fill riff number one, and I like to use that over the G chord. So now let's check out this next one. Fill riff number two, and this is a really nice riff that fits um, very well over the C major chord when you're in the key of G. Mm -hmm. 